Why would you spend all this money on something that might work and might have efficacy, but the um, the sort of science out there is is scant and it's it's not that well supported. What's going on guys, it's Jacob, Sunday Lifters. Welcome back to the channel. Today, hopefully going to be doing something that feels to you guys, it certainly is going to feel that way to me, a little bit different from the normal stuff, maybe a little bit more um, sort of entertainment based, uh, but still sort of having a little bit of education and a purpose. Um, with Christmas coming up, start getting loads of adverts on like Instagram, uh, Facebook, and one advert in particular that came up was a company called um, Copenhagen Grooming or Copenhagen Grooming. Uh, apparently the company has been around for quite a while, but I've, I've not heard of them before this advert. And it was basically making claims about um, being able to sort of grow a, a much more full beard, finish, you know, fill in sort of bold spots that you, you're having trouble growing within 150 days. And I thought for sure that this was going to be a minoxidil product. Um, you know, we, we've sort of the science says already that Minox still works incredibly well on the hair on your head um, and you know there's there's loads of anecdotal studies out there where people have sort of used it on their beard um, and it's also you know had great results there as well the the minoxidil I actually buy it's a company called Newman it actually even says on on the minoxidil I've not seen it on any others but it does say um, you can use, you know, up to so many pumps on the on the beard as well. So they're actually saying it could be used um, for your beard. But anyway, so I thought this company were going to be, it was just going to be a minoxidil product. I actually went on to their website and looked at the formula and um, I was shocked to see that there was no minoxidil in it. Let's see what the company themselves have to say about it um, and jump into this like video that is on their on their website. Before we go any further guys if you could just drop this a like and a comment down below it would be massively appreciated but let's jump in so as you can see we're on cphgrooming.com this is their official website uh let's go through this let's see what they say this is the world's first beer growth kit we've carefully designed it to give you the best opportunities for growing a beard whether you want to find bald spots or simply want to grow a fuller beard you have come to the right place. But what is it and what does it do? Let's take a closer look. The beard roller is cutting edge technology in the field of cosmetic science. The needles penetrate the top layer of the skin, creating microscopic channels that activates the body's healing process. This stimulates the follicles, increases blood circulation and maximizes the absorption of the activator serum. So yeah, that's all true. Um, you know, it, it that the derma roller. When I was talking about minoxidil earlier, when people have used the derma roller and teamed it up with minoxidil, it's it's been shown to potentially double results for some guys. Um, you know, I have one as well. When they were saying it's like cutting edge technology and stuff like that, I feel like they were sort of making it sound like um, you have to get theirs. Do you know? But you can literally get one of those anywhere. Like I say, I got, I think I got this one off Amazon for like six quid or something. Um, now the the problem is the science sort of backs that potentially a one point five millimeter, um, you know, sort of needle going in would be more sort of, you know, ha have more efficacy in in its goal of sort of stimulating beard growth, increasing blood flow to the area that it's used. And then, you know, with the minoxidil as well, acting as a, a sort of growth potentiator for the, 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 the hair follicles that are, you know, dormant, all of those things together just show great efficacy. So um, I do agree with pretty much everything they said on that part there. Let's, let's carry on. This is the fuel for your beard. After a lot of research and a long trial and error process with our experts, we finally found the natural active ingredient, Capilia longa. The activator serum also contains the well-known beard boosters, arginin and biotin. So basically, all the best for your beard in one serum. We want you to get results on your beard growth. But remember, there is no quick fix when growing a beard. 
it takes time and patience. The beer growth kit will make this process as smooth and effective as possible, but it will not give you a beard overnight. This is all reflected in a growth guarantee. So enjoy your beard journey and remember the goals. So that's what they have to say about their beer growth kit. Um, you know, we'll go through each individual component of this sort of growth serum and sort of look what the science says about it. Um, you know, the good thing is, uh, at least at the end, they say, you know, you don't grow a beard overnight. It's absolutely true. Whether you're using um, an Oxidil, a Derma Roller, you're using this this um, sort of growth kit that they're advertising. Um, it, it, there's a big genetic element to it as well, uh, you know, and how fast and how well you respond to these things um, is, is largely based, based on genetics as well. So, you know, there's a certain element of it you can't, you can't change. Um, you've just got to sort of implement what you think necessary, depending on how much you want the thing you're trying to get, if that makes sense. Let's go over the ingredients in this serum. The first one was B7, which is biotin often associated or taken by a lot of people. It's like the cosmetic vitamin. Um, people take it for their hair, their skin, their nails, um, all of these things. Unfortunately, all credible literature out there says that B7 does not have a major role or any sort of um, major scientific backing to suggest it does benefit the hair. Um, all, they, all they know is if you have a B7 uh, deficiency, a biotin deficiency, you can lose your hair, but all, all they've really seen is that if you then return your B7 to, to normal levels through supplementation, you can regain and regrow the hair that you lost from the deficiency. The next ingredient is arginine. Now, if you watch, I'll link it up here, but if you watched my video on um, the, the more bang for your book pre-workout video, we, we actually covered arginine a little bit. It was more about L-citrulline, but Arginine is a nitric oxide precursor. Nitric oxide, it you know, it helps with blood flow. It uh, helps like sort of dilate blood blood vessels in the body. So it's, it's really good to be sort of getting in. Now, w the reason I think arginine might be linked to um, sort of hair growth in some degree, or theoretically, is because of the the optimized blood flow. Um, or you know that because it because it's the nitric oxide precursor, I should say the nitric oxide increases blood flow in the body. Now that doesn't always appear to actually be the case in practical application. I looked into some studies on arginine, and the the literature backing up its efficacy in regard to hair growth and health is the data is also almost non-existent. It's really hard to find, and the studies you do find, it's usually stacked up or teamed up with minoxidil um so you you know is it the arginine is it minoxidil i found this one study that was done in rats which again is not ideal because you know some studies that are done in rats are not always it's not always the same case with humans it's you know it can be a good indicator but in in practical application it doesn't always work out the same um however this study will we'll, i'll sort of read it off now um but i will also link it so you can look at it properly um, it says the following. They used a formula containing arginine against uh, minoxidil on rats. The compound containing arginine was Copexil, which also contained uh, Aminexil and SP94 peptide. So they didn't just use arginine on its own, basically. It was like, like I say, it was sort of teamed up with these other things. So it's hard to say whether it was just the arginine um, that, you know, had any result or whether it was somebody, you know, the peptide or, or the, um, what is it, the uh, aminexil, it could be it could be either one of those things. So in the study, they thought that the arginine would theoretically uh, stimulate micro uh, circulation, bringing in more essential nutrients to the hair bulb, basically, um, and that would stimulate growth. So there was another, another compound that was used in this study as well. It was made up of arginine, thermal spring water, madocasicide, I think that's how you say it, uh, and vitamin B5, and they called that compound uh, kerium. And now to sum it up, at the end of the study, what they basically concluded was mendoxidil and kerium were both seen to increase hair follicles, but the aminexil or the copexil did not seem to do the same. So both the copexil 
and the kerium contained arginine, right? One of them didn't really show any result and one of them did, which makes me think that it wasn't the arginine that sort of, you know, helped. In short, they summarise all of this by saying the below and we'll get a screenshot up now and we'll just go over it. Our results suggest that 2% minoxidil topical application is more efficacious than aminexyl or kerium in inducing hair regrowth as assessed by trichoscopy, hair weight examination and morphometric assessment. Microscopic data obtained from the va validation study confirms that the topical and administration of 2% minoxidil affects the normal hair cycle by inducing anagen phase of hair growth in resting follicles. We used an animal model of hair regrowth to demonstrate that not all products recommended for human use have the same hair regrowth efficacy. This study validates the hair regrowth effect of minoxidil and also demonstrates that kerium treatment induces good hair growth hair growth, sorry, in Wister rats. So that brings us to the final ingredient that they talk about in their sort of formula, and that is called Capilla Longa. Um, I'd never heard of that before, so I had to do some Googling, but what I essentially found out is that Capilla Longa is just turmeric, basically. Now, I tried to do some research, again, on turmeric's efficacy in regard to hair growth, regrowth. I found, like, one article, again, I'll link it down below, where, the, the person who wrote the article kind of said like, oh, there's thousands of studies out there back in turmeric's hair um, sort of growth and, and sort of hair health properties. I couldn't find any of them. I was looking for so long as well, like, it, you know, and, th and they didn't cite any in the article, which also raises suspicion. Why would you say there's thousands out there, but not cite any? All I will say about that article is at the top, it does say it was sort of read and given the all clear by a doctor. Um, so take from that what you will. I'm not a doctor. So the, re the reason I was bringing all of this up is just because like when I looked at the price for this kit as well, I was like, come on, man. You, you can get minoxidil for 15 quid online and you can get, you know, this derma roller for about, like I said, I'm pretty sure I paid seven pounds for this and it, it does the job, man. Um, so essentially you can get minoxidil and one of these for about maybe 25, 30 quid tops, right? Um, and then after that, you've only got to buy the minoxidil because this lasts forever. On this sort of website, you know, we're looking at 64 quid for 50 day supply, um, 101 quid for 150 days supply, 132 50 days supply. Why would you spend all this money on something that might work and might have efficacy, but the um, the sort of science out there is is scant and it's it's not that well supported as opposed to getting minoxidil, which is you know cheaper and de you know there's a lot more evidence out there that supports its use, its efficacy as a growth agonist in the hair follicle um so you know basically what i'm trying to say is like spend your money wisely there's going to be a lot of adverts out there making claims like this one um but you know does the product actually work is it worth the money who 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 knows i'm not gonna say it's absolutely not i'm just saying for me personally it's not what i'd do i'd be getting one of these and some minoxidil um because you know like I say, the science on that is is done. Um, let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Appreciate you tuning in as always. If you enjoyed the video, drop it a like. Um, it all helps with the algorithm. Subscribe, hit the bell icon. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Sunday Lifters, Twitter at Sunday Lifters, and Facebook at Sunday Lifters. And you can email me at sundaylifters at gmail.com for meal plans, workout plans, and online coaching. See you here again soon, guys, and take it easy.